So I'm at work. Um, it is my Friday night, but it's actually Saturday, which technically is my last day on the 8th, but I come back in later on tonight at 11 because I work overnight 11 to um, 7 in the morning. And um, I figure since it's my last night, I'm going to tell you guys what I do for my job and um, and how I got this job. So I'm a night, I do a night audit at a hotel and how I got this job was actually my husband's um, kind of fault, I guess, I don't know. Um, I was not working at the time. We had recently moved from, well, I was in Texas, he was in South Korea and he came back and this is where his duty station was, um, Fort Linwood, and um, I wasn't working at the time and um, I had updated my resume and I already had print printed them all out and Dustin came home and he was like, you know what, I'm craving ice cream, let's go to DQ. So I was like, okay, fine. And like, we're going to drive to DQ. I just saw this thing on uh, a Facebook page looking for, somebody looking for, like, uh, there's a night audit position at the hotel. I was like, I'll just go put my application in. So that's what I did. I left my resume at the front desk with um, my favorite boss, Anita, and um, our manager. Um, and she was like, um, okay, can you fill out this application? And while I was filling out the application, she was reading my resume. And she was like, you know what? Um, are you are you okay with interviewing right now? And I was like, sure. So I interviewed. And then I got my second interview a couple, uh, like a day after, and um, I got hired. So that's how I got this job, and I really like like this job because I started off as a weekend night audit, and then I started doing um, full time. But then once our son came, I had to go back to night or the weekends, and I was like, oh my god, how am I gonna tell my boss this? Like I'm gonna have to quit. They're not going to be able to do this for me. And I spoke to my GM and I told her, like, okay, you know, I, he's young and he has special needs. And I want to be as much, like, be a part of his his life as much as I can. Like, I can't work full-time night audit and then um, try to be a, a mom at home, like a stay-at-home mom with him. Like, I want to be there for every milestone. So she was like, okay, we'll see what we can do. And sure enough, she was able to get me to go back to the weekends, and that has been amazing for me. And they even let me pick up hours whenever I can, usually Tuesdays and Wednesdays when I pick up some extra hours. And again, they work around my schedule. They let me come in when, as soon as Dustin gets off work, um, he gets about work off work around five, so I come in like at six. And um, I really appreciate that they do that for me because. Um, we don't have to stress about paying for child care because my husband works uh, Monday through Friday and then I work overnight Friday night to and Saturday night so I get off on Sunday and we both have Sunday off together but I sleep in a little bit because I've been working all night and awake all night so um, yeah so that's how I kind of got the job and how on my weekend night I do weekend night audit and um, I do like the front desk to become the only person here, but I kind of do my work like in waves because, um, again, I'm the only person here and um, it's not much you can do here at night. Um, I don't have to do audit until 1 to 3 o'clock in the morning depending when I have to, when I decide to do it. Um, usually I do it around 3 um, because sometimes I'm still waiting for people to arrive. Um, but. Yeah, so like today I just, I did my not audit early, um, I walked to the hotel, I checked the pool, I kind of prepped the breakfast a little bit, getting it ready um, for when I had to set it out later, and then also do a little bit of like side work here, um, uh, they have, like I do the reconciliations for a third party, um, for Hotel Collect, so I do that, and I turn that in at the end of the month. So, yeah, so that's a little bit extra things I do just to kind of keep myself occupied here. I mean, I have a TV, I have the screen monitor, but there's nobody walking around this late at night, except maybe on, sometimes they do get crazy when it's a fuller house. Um, and I'm working on my moving binder back there, just kind of like updating it. And this is kind of like a great um, 
job for somebody who's like in school because when I was first starting out I would bring my laptop and when I was going to school for accounting and I would do my homework here and my classes here like I did some like online stuff and then so yeah it's really easy work but I love it and I'm a night owl so I can stay up at night so I don't have an issue with that I know some people have issues with that but I don't and um, I enjoy it so this is kind of like just a little what do I do that's my job kind of thing um, nothing really interesting <laughs> but um, yeah it helps pay the bills like you don't I mean I make like I said I'm overtime so I'm, I'm like I'm part-time so I don't make a lot but still it helps out every little bit helps out and um, I'm gonna miss working here and I do have a job lined up in Colorado it's a home care provider I never done that before so I look forward to trying that out um, that one's even less hours but they pay weekly and um, I feel like that's okay because I mean I don't I think we decided that we're trying to lean more towards me staying at home full time because um, of my son's therapies and, and his appointments and stuff and it's difficult trying to balance um, both our work schedules and his. Um, I know mine is more flexible but at the same time like um, we want to relieve that stress completely and I can just concentrate on him and make a routine at home for him because we're trying to juggle. Um, right now he's um, doing the standing frame, he has arm braces, he has his AFOs and um, we noticed that his sitting, like his core has been slacking and it's because we've been focusing on, on all that stuff and kind of neglecting the part of, you know, he still needs to core train, um, work on his like core strength. So we need to find a balance between all of his activities um, for therapy because he also does feeding so that also takes a, a good chunk of his time. So. Um, I feel like us, well, we both feel like me being at home and having a more set routine for my son um, will be beneficial for him and all of us at the same time. Um, because we have to remember that he's still a child and um, he's a child first. And I want to make sure that his day is not just consumed all by therapy, that is also included by fun, like sensory play and stuff like that. And all of that play can be great therapy too so I feel like by me not being so exhausted and my husband not being so stressed because he has to like um, sometimes he has to take off work to help me like if I have to drive long distance to St. Louis that drive I won't do by myself um, it's too far for me to do by myself so um, stuff like that like we won't have to stress about that so much um, about like both of us trying to take off to um, do his appointments or, or his therapies and stuff like that so um, we feel like this is going to work out for both of us so yeah um, sorry I rambled on <laughs> and um, I hope you enjoy this video bye <laughs>